Well, tonight, family and friends remembering a woman who lost her life trying to help a friend in need. 48-year-old Crystal Turner was shot and killed Monday in a neighborhood in Henderson as she and two other men tried to break up a domestic dispute. 8 News Now reporter Sally Jaramillo spoke to Turner's daughter about exactly what happened. Sally? Denise, Brittany Washington is trying to come to terms with losing her 48-year-old mother. Washington says Crystal Turner had a contagious laugh and a heart of gold and was there for anyone in need, just like on Monday. 37-year-old Sarah Clark said her 39-year-old husband, Andre Andrews, was hurting her. When he left her house, Clark called friends for help. Crystal Turner, her son Brian Washington, and other man, Billy Brown, they were there when Andrews returned. Police said Andrews got into a fight with them, shooting Turner in the face. The two men tried to get the gun away from him. They too were shot. Unfortunately, Turner passed away from her injury. Brittany Washington says she's still grieving since she also lost her dad a year ago. After my brother was shot, he was the first one shot. My mom went after the shooter and, um, you know, she was shot in the mouth. But who's to say that, you know, if she didn't jump in, if my brother's friend didn't jump in, that my brother would have been the only person, you know, shot. Up. Uh Officers investigating the scene found a black revolver in the rocks near where Andrew had been sitting. He remains hospitalized and has been booked on one count of open murder with a deadly weapon, two counts of attempted murder with a deadly weapon, and one count of domestic battery. Now, Turner is from California and leaves behind three children. A GoFundMe page has been set up for her. As for the men, Billy Brown is out of the hospital. As for Washington, he's still been found at Sunrise Hospital right now. We are wishing him a well recovery. Reporting live in Henderson, Sally Hadamio, 8 News Now.